shoot around some quick hitting topics in college basketball Fonz we'll start with you Purdue Zach Eady seems to be the guy the preseason favorite or the current season favorite to be the player of the year if not Eady who would it be well I first have to say that it's Zach Eady's to lose top 10 in scoring top five in rebounding he's been the most dominant but next will be Jalen Wilson he's been absolutely incredible on the season averaging over 20 points a game on the season shooting around 34 percent from three nine rebounds per game but over the last three games he's averaging 30 points per game he's shooting about 38 percent from the three-point line he's been absolutely sensational so if I had a close second it would be the man there in blue Brandon Miller of Alabama not far behind and then Oscar Shibwe is starting to play like the player of the year he was last year Say Say Brandon Miller, Alabama, one more time for the people. Brandon Miller in Alabama would be next. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a mind like a steel trap. I remember last year, Billets, you said eight teams were the ones who could win the national championship, had the chops to win that many games. How many teams is it this year? More like a dozen. And again, we're saying win the national championship, not make the final four. Making the final four is about your path. You got to win four games. Winning six, I think, is a big deal and a big difference. But here are the teams I see right now. And Virginia is making a making a play in that in that realm because not only can they defend, but they're starting to really score at a higher clip and playing that smaller lineup with uh, Ben Vanderplatz in there spreads things out. They can make shots and watch out for Xavier. Yes, you know they haven't defended as well throughout the course of the season, but they're getting better. And offensively, they've got a lot of firepower. And one of the things about all the analytics when you look at, at these records, the records and their analytics to this point tell you what the team has done. They don't necessarily tell you what the team is capable of. And some of those teams are capable of more, and I think they're going to get better as the season goes along. Got UConn on that list, so the con, all your fans, you don't have to freak out right now. It's just a little bit of a... <laughs> got to get to the finish skin. line. That's what you <laughs> get to do. the finish <laughs> line. Seth, I was asked a question in an interview that I decided to bring to Saturday's shoot-around and pose to you. Now, one-game scenario in the tournament. You saw Bill as title contenders. doesn't have to be from them. Who's the one team you would not bet against? And whatever the matchup is, you would go, ah, not going to bet against them. I'm going to get a little help with this answer. Smokey, get over here. The one team I wouldn't want to play would be Tennessee right now. <laughs> no, no, no. So any one game you any wouldn't bet game, against Tennessee. I'll tell you why. This is a different Tennessee team. They can play fast. They can play slow. They can play big. They can play small. They can turn you over. 25% of the possessions are created a turnover. 35% of their missed shots. A missed shot sometimes is their best offense. They go and fetch it. To me, when you look at this Tennessee team, they can beat you in transition. They beat you in the half court. They beat you with their defense. They beat you with their depth. And most importantly, if you look at the DNA of teams that win championships, they have maturity. And this team is a mature, experienced team. Some people call that excellent basketball analysis. Some people call it pandering. <laughs> I call it a little call? bit of both. Hey, hey, Smokey, would you take that from Billis? This Walk is over the there part. and lift yeah, your is, land. This is a pandering part. He smells good. Never, never been with a dog before. But, uh. <laughs> I, by the way, I answered Carolina. That would be the team I wouldn't bet against one game if they That's were interested, call. involved, and ready to go. Let's do some quick picks here. Start with a few games coming up. Game in the Big East. Xavier had a big win against UConn this week going on the road to take on Creighton. Yeah, I'm going with Xavier today. Zach Fremantle didn't play well in that last game. Though they won, he had five points in that game. He's averaging 17 points a game over the last four. He'll be the difference. I'm going to go with Creighton at home. I think their ability to defend. They've got the ability with Kalkbrenner to defend Nunji out on the floor and protect the rim. At home, I like Creighton. I think Xavier's the better team. But Creighton, early on in the season, we were talking about them as a Final Four team. They haven't played as well as we expected through the course of the season. But I'm going to go with Creighton at home. Baylor Shireman had transferred him from South Dakota State. Averaging about nine rebounds a game. Lefty can pass it, can shoot it. He's a difference maker for them. Fans saying 56% of them that Xavier will win that game. Got a couple of Creighton picks there. In the ACC, Miami and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh off to a solid start. Yeah, I, I love Miami, but they're on the road at Pitt. And this Pitt team is much better defensively than they've been in the past. They'll be able to contain Miami's guards of getting in the lane. I'm going to go with Pitt at home. I just watched Pitt play Wake Forest. They made 17 three-point shot. You talk about experience and maturity, tough physical guard play. They've got the guard play and the physicality and the shot makers 
to defend home court. I have Pitt. Yeah, I think Pitt's a little bit better defensively than Miami. Miami can score. They've struggled at times to defend at a high level. I'm going to take Pitt in this game. And the one guy that doesn't get enough credit for Pitt is Greg Elliott. Transferred in from Marquette. He, he's a shot maker for them. Jamarius Burton and Blake Henson get a lot of credit, and they should. But Greg Elliott's had a great year. Pitt has no chance now. Hurricane. <laughs> Hurricane. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.